This is my 2018 Tesla Model X P100D. Had it for a couple years now. Figured I would make a video of it. Um, if you buy a Model X, get the performance version. There's no reason to get the long range car. You might as well have the speed and performance. You also get a few things like, I don't know, different dashboard color. Um, floor mats very underwhelming i would say um but uh you get the uh red uh, brake calipers as well uh, falcon wing doors it's more of a nuisance than anything else uh they look cool um, they don't leak anything like that water when you open them they've been designed pretty well to where they um push the water off to the sides two buttons here and here uh, pretty cool when you're inside you have the uh, roof there glass roof uh, this is a five seat car I personally would probably go with the uh, I would say six seater if I did it again definitely prefer the uh, captain's chairs or what have you. Fit and finish on these cars is poor. Uh, they don't build that many Model X's. And take a look. Every Model X, they seem to not be able to put the front bumper on correctly. Uh, interesting tidbit. The hood is too big for the car. No matter what you can, uh, no matter what you do, you can't um, fit it on there properly. It's a few millimeters too wide. Usually notice that up here. Over here, this has been fixed. Front bumper has been realigned. Uh, every one of these cars, after, I don't know, a couple hundred, couple thousand miles maybe, is going to have a nice, wonderful shaking and vibration shutter under harsh acceleration. And you can go in and get the half shafts replaced, uh, the CV joints, if you will, on the front. The motor mounts, there's a clevis mount that holds these axles and keeps them in place but what happens is is those components wear and the axles shake back and forth left and right and create a, a nice nasty vibration under acceleration so you either live with it or keep taking it back to fix it and you'll be disappointed um most people buy these cars for tech they certainly don't buy them for fit and finish attention and detail if you want that buy a porsche or a lexus uh every one of these cars is going to have some kind of paint defect in it just like mine does um overall reliable um you know easy to drive comfortable those particular things but uh you have to you know kind of accept it as is every one of these cars driver's side mirror has a nice wonderful shake in it because it's designed differently from the passenger side mirror which doesn't shake I'll try to get that fixed probably won't be very successful um 272 miles is is the range it usually does like 2 220 230 depending on how you drive it uh, but model x is uh, very fast uh, for an suv of course and for performance uh, p100d with ludicrous you're going to get that zero to 60 in right around two and a half seconds which is great um, I think that uh, there's better SUVs on the market. The Porsche Cayenne, for example, much better. Um, but for the price and performance and what you get with this being an electric car, you definitely have uh, bang for the buck, I call it, especially now with the pricing now. If I get another Model X, it will be, of course, performance with Ludacris, unless they come out with a plaid version. But overall... Um, you know, little rattles inside the interior. Uh, had to put tires on it. And uh, that's really the only maintenance. And then, of course, just realigning these doors. They're, the Falcon Wing doors, both of them had to be adjusted. The driver's side door uh, had to be adjusted. So when these doors close, you'll typically see these doors close and come up to here and then pull themselves shut. They shouldn't close like that. And so if they're aligned correctly, the door will just shut. 
just like that. And if your Model X doesn't do that, there's an adjustment of these strikers here in the motors and you can get that taken care of because it should it should close uh, just like that. It shouldn't do the uh, bang in and then pull shut softly. So I'll show you the other side here. And plants in the way. see nice clothes just like that that's what it should do um a little disappointing that this isn't uh motorized i think it'd be pretty cool if it was some of the earlier cars have that and this is of course in their um, white color which is standard now the trico metallic or whatever the hell it's called i don't know uh, but overall if you want an SUV, I've owned uh, Range Rover, um, have a Volkswagen Touareg as well, and it is what it is. It's a, it's a computer on wheels, and so it's not going to be perfect. Um, seats aren't too bad, but uh, just have to give it some attention. Uh, in the uh, few years that I've owned it, I've never made a video of it and talked about my experience with owning the car great service uh they definitely do everything they can to try to fix the cars so that's nice but uh you know i think the model x now model s model x are more of a uh, uh a gimmick and a toy than anything else tesla seems to want to put all of the development and updates into the three and the y and so on and so forth so if you have one of these cars uh, you know what i'm talking about you're familiar with all of this stuff if you're going to get one um i definitely do recommend it in, in light of the imperfections with the vehicle such as fit and finish attention to detail things like that